Welcome to the PLL on NBCSN, powered by Ticketmaster. Opening weekend of the Premier Lacrosse League continues this afternoon with the two newest franchises to the PLL, Water Dogs and Cannons, meeting at Gillette Stadium, home of the New England Patriots. Send it to him, 99 in his old Cannons uniform. Rabel got the left hand free and scores. Paul Rabel feeling it here in 2021. Red, white, and blue looks awfully good on him. We'll let Rabel celebrate with his teammates before talking to him here, but good little rollback to get his stick back to the inside. Goodrich all over him. Sowers tried to go across the crease. It's stolen away by Reese Eddy. Nearly gave it away, and Eddy still with it. They tried to feed it inside for a cutting brown. It was knocked down and secured by Brody Merrill. In his 14th pro season at age 35, even more remarkable than it was just watching it. There's a nice shot from Lyle Thompson. Right through the arms of Ward, and it is 2-0 Cannons. 20 seconds to clear. Oh, boy. And that pass was telegraphed and stolen away. Running to the net, diving and scoring. Uh, what has been a tight game so far in terms of opportunities, and now it's cashed in again. And a clean win this time for Simino, and the save made by Ward. The ball lands right in front of the net, and only cannons were there, and Q picks up another one. Two quick goals for Andrew Q. Took the hit to make a pass. It comes to Schlosser. Moves to the left hand. Save made by Morocco. Well, Courier took the big hit. Morocco comes up with the save for Cannons. Out of the box, Stephen Rafis. Rafis feeds it in tight, and Andrew Q has his third of the quarter. Had it. Called a moving pick there. And they try, Water Dogs try to come back quickly. Out of the net came Morocco. He took a shoulder there from McCardle as the first quarter comes to a close in Foxborough. Play dad a little bit more often than uh, I have in the, in the past. So, um, you know, I've really enjoyed it. My family has been amazing. They're my biggest fans. And, uh, you know, I'm out here. They're my why. So I'm out here every day because of them. Before we let you go, you want to play analyst. I know you're, you're having a lot of transitions here. Okay, so Ryan Drenner, one of your new teammates, just scored. Walk us through what you see here. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. That's a great goal. I mean, that's that's what we talk about. You know, these guys are just so good. Shoved down to the turf as well. It's a little slow to get up as Ward takes one off the mask from Rabel. One hand got the second one on it. Lyle Thompson. That's his second. And it's a 7-1 lead for Cannons. So far, Water Dogs have been unable to slow down Cannons. It's five straight. All Cannons so far. Rafis. Oh, he fooled Dylan Ward with that one. Ward bites. He goes up top. And it is 8-1 Cannons. Here for a few more seconds. Turns into a dog's power play. A brief one. And it's Cannons able to score anyway. Lyle Thompson, number three. Well, we have the opportunity, but we have a goal. Zach Courier finally breaks a long 7-0 run for Cannons. At Gillette Stadium, their first eight shots of the game not only were on net, they all went in. Proved to be a huge difference in that win for Archers over Chaos to open their season. Helmet with Dylan Ward, goaltender for Water Dogs. Go, 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 Oh, 
Well, D Dylan Ward took the word. I don't know how that took goes. the words right out of my mouth. I, I, I don't know how this goes in. So okay, I, I've scored the backhand earlier. As he hit the crossbar. Sowers sees a chance and he scores. Well, showed you the initial shot of it. it. Looked like there was a little bit of green, a sliver of green between the foot and the line. You can see as he turns the corner here, it looks good there. This looks like a clean goal to me. And now he has his first in the PLL as Rafis, the one-hand feed for Q, never made it to its intended target. In some pain. They've got numbers. And it results in a goal. The second today for Steven DiNapoli. Shot clock inside 20. On the run with a little room and a nice job by Deemer Class to finish. Deemer Class didn't play on Friday night. He gets an opportunity here Sunday afternoon. And he's got his first goal of the season. We'll try another plan of attack. Courier, one hands up behind for Sowers. Quickly darts to the front and scores. A hit from Eddie draws the flag as Sowers loses the bucket. But he sticks it home for his second. In front of the cage to try to get back. And Eddie right in the back of the head. So this two minute penalty is completely warranted. You've got to protect the players. Third quarter, all power play time for the Dogs. That pass hit the referee, Matt Palem, and picked back up by Schlosser. Plenty of time, you got McCardle. In a sprint, two seconds and one. And they don't get a shot away here either. So some signs of life for Water Dogs in the third quarter. They score three times. They are down by six, with only the fourth quarter to play here at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Cannons up 11 to five. Conrad trying to fight his way through. Goodrich, what a play by the diving Zach Goodrich. You wanted to see the teams have a better second half as Paul Rabel continues his scoring touch. He scored the first goal of the game, not even two minutes into this one. And he has the 12th for Cannons Lacrosse Club. Paul Rabel adds to the total. Lay out the gate, first draw, first defense for off, first offense. Hard as you can. Woo! Let's go! Watch out for Reese trailing. Water Dogs need two. Reese finds it. With one shot, Ryland Reese puts a dent into the Cannons' lead. Talked about him as a legit two-point threat. First ever meeting between these two teams, Andrew Q. He matches Lyle Thompson with his fourth goal today. What a weekend for Paul Rabel. He scores five times this weekend. And Sean Quirk and Cannons Lacrosse Club have their first ever PLL win. 13-7 over Water Dogs. Four goals for Lyle Thompson, four goals for Andrew Q. And it was never all that close here today in Foxborough. 13-7 the final score. The action continues. Switch over to Peacock, 345, Chrome and Redwoods. Coming up next at NBC, NBCSN, Premiership Rugby. For Ryan Boyle, Paul Burmester, and our, our NBC Sports crew, I'm Brendan Burke saying thank you for watching the PLL.